Welcome to the shooting show. This week we follow Arch Pigeon Decoyer Gerwin Jones in inclement conditions protecting peas from the pigeon hard with his invisible friend. Good morning from the Thames Valley. I'm here all on my lonesome. Still waiting for the cameraman who's apparently stuck in traffic. So anyway, I thought I'd better do a bit of filming. So just walking up, I've set the hide up. It's quite a big hide because there's going to be two of us. It's much bigger than I normally make it. It's in this planted hedgerow here, look. So I've just set it up in amongst the young trees. This is the pea crop. This is one we shot on the last video right up in the distance under the wood in the center of the picture now is where we set up last time as you can see the peas have grown an awful lot since we were here last time but they're still <coughs> being hit very hard by the pigeons and there's a lot of jackdaws coming on you now as well so if you look up there you'll see the whirly just up there top of the picture and then just I've put a couple of deeks as you can see a couple of statics in behind it and then to zoom out again Coming just back down. I'm still on the side of the hide. This is what we can see. Got some more pidgeys on tall cradles here on this lower bit. You can see where they've been nibbling and eating the peas. It's, there's just low patches and it's all over this field. You can see it's a big old patch of peas, but they're coming from over those woods there and they go back and sit in those woods all the way through the course of the day. That's what they tend to do. Um, and then just just drop in basically so you can see the woods there and then behind me you can see two trees between the two trees is another little copse which we we showed on the last video that's where a lot of them sit and rest as well and then just the other side of that hedge we shot just under 300 last week um, which we didn't have the cameraman down for unfortunately um, so we've now had since you were here last off these peas about 600 odd pigeons so let's see what we can do today so we've been going now about 20 minutes we've got 16 just shooting you and my mate um, they're coming quite well what's coming the wind's picking up we've got rain forecast this afternoon so we thought we'd give it a, a go and then it doesn't say rain all afternoon so we might have to abandon ship for an hour or two if it comes in heavy but then it should make them really feed well afterwards so we've set up for about 11 o'clock and um, yeah what's come so far has come well Whoa. Yeah. Job, I've got two barrels using the old um, HVs again today. The fiber 32 sixes, brilliant cartridge, as I keep saying. Teamwork. Gang coming, gang coming. <laughs> Brutal. It is pest control at the end of the day. Yeah, but as great as it is, and we love doing it, and we're lucky to be able to do it, it is not a sport, it is a job.
We're doomed. Every time the cameraman comes. Um, we've been here an hour or so. We shot 20 odd in no time. Um, and we're seeing pigeons all the time, but they're just bouncing from left to right over, over the middle of the pea ground. Um, it's early enough yet. There's still plenty of time. I'm not really too concerned about it. Um, it just means we've probably got a few hours twiddling our thumbs till we get some action. But um, there's something they don't like. I'm not quite sure what it is. Or they maybe there's rain forecast later. Maybe they were at first light feeding. Who knows? But they're not pouring in. Let's put it that way. That's near enough, but it's still not really detoying, is it? I know. Are you sure? Are you excited? It's a bit mad, isn't it? She's been chewing stones and keeping anyone away. Hey, good girl. Hey, good girl. Hey, good girl. Yes, you are. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on in. Poppy. Dead. So we've just been out and put the second whirly out. Just because we're getting a bit bored, we don't want to wait a couple of hours to see if we can get them to come in a bit quicker. So seems to have worked. Two just come round now. I went to shoot and because I'd taken the cartridges out when I went out, half wit didn't put them back in. So, luckily, my wingman stood up and shot it. So, job done. <laughs> lovely, jubbly. I shot in front of that with the first. Lovely. That came nice, didn't it? Came from behind, swung out round, straight in. What we got on the clicker? We are on 59. Been a couple of hours now, 59. So just chipping away, just chipping away. Um, it's not flat out, still early enough yet. Like you said, we've been two hours. They're coming from all directions, really. Um, I think as the day goes on, they'll do what they're starting to do now. They're just starting to, they had their early morning feed, I think that's basically what's happened. And um, they'll start coming in now for their afternoon feed with a bit of luck over the next three, four hours. And with a bit of luck, we're under the brolly, as you can see. The old golf brolly, or fishing brolly, I think it is. So we'll just stick it out for a bit, see what happens. <laughs> Lovely.
Lovely. Good. Lovely. So, the forecast said it was going to be heavy rain this afternoon for a couple of hours, and here it is. So, we've shot now for just over three hours, we've got 80 odd, um, and this is what the plan was, sit out the rain, we've got this great big fishing brolly, uh, we'll sit it out, we'll snug in there, I'm just basically zipping this up. But um, hopefully after this, they will feed properly. So anyway, we'll see. But this is bang on what, what the forecast said it was going to do. So we've had it so far, it's been right. So continue, as long as this rain doesn't last now for the rest of the day, which won't be a lot of fun. Um, but if it stays, you know, an hour maybe like this, nothing's going to feed. And then they should feed really well afterwards. So. Madam has found her way underneath the blanket just to keep herself nice and dry. Well, that didn't go quite according to plan. We are jinxed. Whenever a cameraman comes down, something happens. Anyway, the rain that was supposed to pass didn't. Um, we weren't able, we've, we've had to basically just abandon ship for now. I'm going to go back. Um, and clear up now. Um, it's just all too wet. Stu's got to go, um, but we're not going to get a chance to film a pickup or anything like that. Everything's just saturated. Uh, we actually had a, had a good result considering the weather. We've ended up with 105. Um, it's been tricky. They haven't decoyed brilliantly. Um, we could have shot a bit better, truth be told. We probably should have shot 120, as I said. There's a, there a few sitters we missed today. But um, it was a good day. Again, doing a bit of crop protection, having a bit of fun. Um, Thankfully, we had the big brolly, um, but anyway, that's just the way it goes. But um, it's been a good day, good to have you down, Stu, and um, please bring the sunshine next time. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, and do ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.